Hello my dear students, how are you, how are all of you? Today we are going to talk about a new example and how we will solve the problem of two of the two variables. Uh, we have two equations and we have two variables. The first equation is 2x plus y minus 4 equals 0. The second one is y equals x plus 1. Okay, so what I will do here for those two equations? What I will do for them? The first equation, I said before that I have to put the numbers on one side and the variables on the other side. So, the first thing in the solution is to go like this. First, our first tip for the good solution. Solution is to do this. 2x plus y equals, I will shift the 4 to the other side. Then it will be 4. 2x plus y equals 4. Now, I want the variables to be on one side. The variables will be x and y will be on one side. And the absolute numbers, which is digits, numbers, like the 4, it will be on the other side. Okay? Let's go for the second equation, which is y equals x plus 1. Okay. Now, I want here to move, like I said, the variables on one side and leave the absolute numbers on the other side. So, I will say, it will be like this. y, look at this, equals x plus 1. It's no problem. It is like this, y minus x. When I move the x to the other side, equals plus 1, which is 1. No problem. y minus x. What makes, it makes no sense? If I put minus x plus y, it's the same. Equals plus 1. What I did here, I moved the x's because I have to go on the order. x below each other and y below each other. So, I have to put the x's together and y together. That's why I will do here minus x plus y equals 1. This, this figure, I will do it here. That's right. Okay, now, it's very easy for me because I have to get rid of the x or the y. I have to get rid of any one of them. So, here, what I will do, what are the similar? The y are similar, because here is one y and here is one y. So, I will get rid of the y. But, when I say here minus, this is minus, this is minus. And let's see. So, here, 2x minus minus means plus x. 2x plus x will be 3x x minus y minus y that will go with each other then 4 minus 1 this will equal 3 so 3x equal 3 I want the value of 3 only then x equals the 4 by the near 3 by 3 equals 1 that is very fine great okay I got the x. Now it's time for me to get the y. I will substitute in any of the two equilibriums which is given to me in the start of the equations itself. Then, then I will do like this. Let us see. I will divide the paper so that we can see the upper part. Okay. Now, I will come here to say, I will substitute in the second equation because it's easy y plus x equals x plus 1. Then y equals x is 1. Plus 1, 1 plus 1, then y would equals 2. And this is the solution of this part. Okay. Now, I have two equilibriums. I want to draw them. I want to draw them. 
The meaning of draw them means I will make points, then I will draw these points to make uh, the thing. Hello, so we are back to the two equations, or two equations, and we got this to the points that we um, talking about. And we will move on to another point. So, I will draw now those points we will draw it, but we have before, to, before drawing it, we have to do something like a schedule, like a table, for x values and for y values. We'll do this for x values and for y values. So let's go for the equilibrium number one, the equation number one here, this one. And let's see the values of x and the values of y. Okay. When I, when x will suppose, we'll assume that x equals zero in the first equation here. When x equals zero, then y, this as it's not there, well x is not, then y would equals four. That's fine. So in each equation from those equations, once we'll make x equal zero and we'll check out the value of y, then we'll switch. Means we'll assume that y is the one who equals zero. We'll assume that y equals zero. Okay, in this equation, in the first one, if y equals zero, then 2x equals 4, then 1x will equals 2. See, like this, 2x equals 4, then x will equal 4 by 2 equals 2. That is for the first equation. Okay, we draw two points. We can draw more than two points if you want. Whatever you want, you can, whatever you assume. As example, assume that x equals 1. Then, if x equals 1 here, then 2x means 2 by 1, then y equals 4. Then go ahead. So, but we only will take two points, that's more than enough. So again, once I equals, I made x equals 0, and I check for the value of y. Then I made y equals 0, and I check the value of x. And I had this table, x and y. I have 0, 4, I have 2, 0. Same what we did for the first table will do for the second one. But I want to tell you something before I draw the second so that you will understand it. What we do by equation, this equation is representing a line. It's representing a line. So I will draw the line first. I have to draw this line. Okay, how will I draw the line? Let us see. Line will come like this. Let me do it here as example. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. And here, minus one, minus two, minus three. And there down, minus one, minus two. Also up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, I want to draw the first point which is 0, x and 4, y. x I will move right, y I will move up or down based on the signal. So here x is 0, that means I will move nothing. Then I will go for y, 4, because when x is 0, y is 4. Then this is the point. Okay, let us draw this point. So I have two points, I will draw them, then I will connect them with a line. When x equals 2, this x I will move here to 2, this point. Okay, y equals 0, then I will move up, then I won't move anything. So this point is 0 and 4, 0 and 4. And this point is 2 and 0. Okay, what will happen now? I will 
connect both of them together with the line. You do it in the ruler with the ruler in the in your exam. You do it with the ruler, but I'm doing it with my hand. However, I'm trying to get it like straight line, but it's okay. Okay, you draw it as a line like this. Okay. Now, what I did in the first equation, I will do in the second equation. Like, I will assume x, and I will assume y values. I will get y values. Again, in each equation, once I make x equal 0, then I check the, the value of y. Then, I will, in the same equation, I will make y equal 0. Then, I will assume if y is 0, then what is the value of x? In each one of them. So x and y here if x is minus is 0 in the first equation let's say x is 0 then y will equal 1 okay if y is 0 let us see this if y in the same equation once I made x equal 0 and I will check the value of y which is 1 x here is 0, then y equals 1. And in the same equation, I will assume that y is 0. y is 0. Then when y is 0, if y is 0, look at this. Look at this. I will do it for you here. y is 0. Then minus x equals 1. Then x will equals minus 1 by 1 means minus 1. Then x will be minus 1 then x will be minus 1. Again, in the second equation, the second equation, I once I made x equal 0, like, what is equal 0 that is not there? You just imagine it is not there. So if x, this value is not there, then only y equals 1. Here I put the 1, y equals 1, and x equals 0. Then in the same equation, like I'm saying, in every equation, I do, I put x equals 0 and check for the value of y then I switch means I put y the value of 0 then check the value of x okay here in the second one minus x plus y equals 1 so I will assume that y is not there so if y is not there that means minus x equals 1 that's fine that's great then x will equals minus 1, 1 the far, then the near. The near actually is minus 1 here. It's here minus, minus 1x. So I will move it there, so it will be minus 1 by 1 will equals minus 1. That's why I put in x here minus 1. Okay, how to draw the second part? How to draw the second part? It's very easy. It is very easy. The same thing which we did here. When x equals 0, y equals 1. Here, x 0 means I won't move anything to the right. This is x equals 0. Then y will equal 1. I am here. I am here. So, when x equals 0, then, sorry, y, y, yes, will equals 1. That's fine. So, this is the first point. 0 and 1. Okay. The second point when x is minus 1, here is minus 1, then 0 is, y is 0. When x minus 1, then y is 0. This is the point. This is the point. I will move minus because x here is minus, so I move to minus 1. This is the x and this is y. This is x and this is y. So minus 1. Then I will move up. y should be 0. Minus 1 and 0. Here is minus 1 and the 0 means I won't move up or down because y 0 means still the y is the vertical while the x is the horizontal. That's fine. Okay, now the time come for me to, to connect these two points, connect these two points with a line. Can I extend the line? Yes, I can extend the line. That's fine. Yeah, so I can go like this. 
Now, there is intersection point for all the equations of two variables from the first degree. Equations, any equation of two variables means x and y. From the first degree means the power is 1, x power 1, y power 1. For any equation, we, if we have two equations to solve them, they must have intersection point. Intersection point. Point where the x line, this line, and this line, the line of the first equation, and the line from the second equation, they will intersect in a point. This point is the solution of the example. This is the point of x and y, which we did before. Uh, we, we got the value of x and we got the value of y by solving both of them together like we did before. Now we are like checking now when we do it on graph. How is the same? We will get the same results or no? If we didn't get the same results, means that we made something wrong. The other point is, the other point is, be very careful about the, uh, uh, if the two lines did not intersect, that means we have a problem. That means we have a pro If the two lines did not intersect, we mean, means we have a problem. Like what? In a case, the two lines did not intersect, like as example here, this is the first line, and this is the second line like this. This is called inconsistent. Consistent. Inconsistent. Let me repeat it back. Sorry, because I'm standing while I'm writing. Inconsistent. The inconsistent means that the two lines do not cross. We have the answer. The two lines must cross each other. So the inconsistent and means there is no solution, means there is no value for x and there is no value for y. But you say, will say, how I will know them from each other? In the exam, on the quizzes, you will get the consistent. You will get to get out the value of x and the value of y. Okay, that's fine. Now, if I draw a line, intersected line from here and intersected line from here, this is 2 and this is 1, then the answer will be x equals 1 and y equals 2 x equals 1 here, the point is here, x equals 1, and y equals 2. And this is the same which we got when we solved the two equations together in the first part of this.